It's time to incinerate the flesh off their bones. Let me show you how to cleanse your enemies in the fire of your fury. can see lots of fire death to be had let me show you how to make it happen so what we've got here is a warlock pve build really and i wanted to share it because i'm just having so much fun with it and i'm calling it pyro so the basis of all builds of course is your super choice now i've gone for Dawnblade, and that's the top tree that's called the Attunement of Sky. The reason for this is that you've got the Celestial Fire melee attack, which is a long-range attack. It shoots three fire bolts. But then what that does is that it procs something on your Sun Braces. Yes, that's right, we're using the Sun Braces Exotic 2. Now, once you kill somebody with a melee attack, your Sun Braces then kick in, and you can see it says Sun Braces Ready, and there's a countdown. Now, during that time, you can throw as many grenades as you humanly physically possible you can get about six out all at once which by itself those two things fused together is a great little build but of course we all know about that but what turns this into an absolute monster are the war mind cells so let me go over the mods that we need to stick on in order to make the most of this so first of all i've got slotted in my helmet Uwe misses the wrath of rasputin now this is really the key to the whole build now it's a solar mod and it costs one point to socket it in pretty damn cheap if you ask me and it makes solar splash damage create war mind cells and the solar splash damage is the key to it so that means that your volley of grenades will create war mind cells not on every kill but so often that you'll have plenty of war mind cells generated and you'll see them popping out all over the place now also on my helmet i stuck in ashes to assets as well and that means that grenade kills will also refuel your super much quicker as well you can see the super gauge building up there so you're going to find you're having your super a lot more than you normally would now on the sun braces themselves first of all they have to be solar as well just because they're sun braces doesn't mean they're solar they can roll as void or they can roll as arc as well so you've got the solar ones that you need and you need to slot in rage of the war mind now this is a pretty big mod and it requires five points to slot in but what this does is turn the war mind cells into thermonuclear bombs that pack a massive wallop huge trash mob clearance and big damage to anything caught in the blast zone next we've got for the chest armor now it doesn't really matter the affinity of the chest armor to be perfectly honest because this is the one i'm slotting my global reach into now this means that the blast radius from your warbind cell stretches much further and really makes them so much more effective for your boots you've got two choices to go for really depending on how you want to play it now firstly you could run a void pair of boots which then allowed me to slot in my cellular suppression now that's four points now what that means is it blinds any enemy who's affected by it so all you gotta do is shoot it not destroy it and it gives off a purple pulse and then they're all staggering around going oh, my eyes i can't see and then you can run around pointing at them laughing at them and then finally shoot them in the head now there is a slight negative to this cellular suppression it says here additionally you deal less damage to war mines so what that means is they take more shots to explode so you want to blow them up in a pinch to kill a massive wodge of whatever standing around them you're going to need to hit them a little bit harder and a little bit longer but on the other hand it does allow you to stagger them with the pulse now if you want to go for a more defensive build and this is really handy at the higher level activities pick an arc pair of boots and then slot in sheltering energy but that means that every time you pick up a warbind cell you get an overshield for 20 seconds and this can be amazingly useful when you're being overwhelmed by knobs and git heads then finally for the class piece of armor i've gone for fire team medic 
All that means is by destroying a war mine cell, it creates a burst of healing for you and anybody who's nearby as well, so you're being a nice digital citizen there. Now, using all those mods and using the sun braces and, of course, the attunement of sky is all fantastic together. But what you've got to do as well is try and get your melee strength to build up as quickly as possible. So you can, of course, fit in strength slots onto any of your armor if you've got any points left over. But what I would really recommend is running the Monte Carlo Exotic Auto Rifle. But it's got an exotic perk which reduces the cooldown of your melee with every kill. But occasionally you hear a little jingle and it'll refill your melee instantly and then you can just carpet bomb everything in front of you. It's so satisfying, it's unbelievable. Okay, moving on to the energy slot. You're looking for weapons that can create war mine cells. So to proc war mine cells, you can either use seventh serif weapons, any of the energy slot seventh serif weapons, or you can use any of the Icolos weapons as well. And what this means is any kill you make with that weapon has another chance to generate a war mine cell. Now for your power weapon, and you have a similar choice. You can either go for the solar splash damage route, which means a rocket launcher of some description. I've been using my Duello, which is marvelous, and that's also got chain reaction on it too, which means that I get elemental explosions and also chances to create war mine cells, which is crazy. Or you can use the Seventh Serif machine gun. Now that's an arc machine gun, but of course, because it's Seventh Serif, that has a chance of creating war mine cells too. And this build has got so many uses. I've used it. In blind well i've used it in altar of sorrow i've used it in nightfalls i've used it in legend lost sectors it's fantastic of course it's a pve build because the war mine cells don't proc in pvp they just proc in pve so bear that in mind don't go running and expecting balls to be shooting out everywhere in pvp because they can't and if you really want to go for the pyrotechnics you can swap out your monte carlo for your for a seventh serif revolver and then you can put in your sunshot in your energy slot and believe me this is hilarious because precision kills have uh, elemental explosions and then these elemental explosions create the war mine cells so your war Walking around basically in a wreath of fire murdering anything in front of you give it a go this is one of the best builds I've played with in such a long time and has reinvigorated my fun in the game and my interest in builds in general to be perfectly honest so I think a few more build videos will be heading our way and if you've got any variations on this let me know in the comments that would be fantastic and if you did like the video a like and a subscribe would be brilliant and if you want chuck me a couple of burning pennies then I've got a buy me a coffee page too if you feel that way inclined thank you so much for watching and I shall see you all again very soon sausage out